Now we will start building our four schematics. And first we have to place some components. Um, the components can be found in the component tab. And here, let us choose resistor, for example. Here, uh, if I just drag and drop this resistor here, it will be chosen uh, in the housing R0805. But yeah, I can also select the other one if I want. If I scroll that down, I can choose different version of that resistor if I want. Let's say that 0805 is just fine. If I wanted to play 0603, I will take that one and drag and drop it here. Okay, I'm placing 0805. When I release the mouse, it will be placed. If I place the next one, I can rotate it with space. And um, if I want to mirror it in X direction, I can pre press letter X. Or if I want to mirror in the Y direction, I will press letter Y. Okay. And then if I placed it close together, I can move it apart and it should stay connected. Let's place the next two. Now I will also place some capacitors. I can rotate it with the space and I will also place a polarized capacitor. Yeah, like that. And I will now choose the uh, transistor in the semiconductor library and I will select uh, that one, which is an SMT case like, like this. It's an SOT23 housing. Okay, putting it, it in. Now you see that here this transistor will be directly connected to that resistor. And if I move it down, it will be also connected to resistor. So now I can move it back and forth. And as you see, it is dragging with the lines. If I now press, press control and move it away, it will be disconnected from the lines. When moving a component, I can press space to rotate it again and all other shortcuts that are used when placing. I can press also tab. If I press tab, I will go into the property window and you see the pause here. So that means that this resistor is still in the move mode, movement mode, but the movement mode is paused and I can set its properties. For example, now, I can set the value of the resistor. Let us let me show it. In component properties. I'm sorry, but I can't see it. That's a bug. It shouldn't be like that. Okay, now it's here. Component properties. I see that a designator R question mark. That's a unique name for this resistor. And the comment is equal to value. Now what is value? A value is a parameter you can choose here. And let me choose 10 kilo. Now going here, I can choose, let's say again, 10 kilo, or maybe I can select both with shift. Now they are both selected and I can choose a value for both at the same time. If I double click on the value itself, the property of the value will be opened and I can select the value here, let's say one kilo and here as well, 10 ohms. And by that I can select the value of all components here. 